What is up, guys? When you see my face, you know it is time for another video. Today, we are going to my third favorite park. It is Epcot, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. That is what it stands for. You guys get ready. I'm gonna grab more of my stuff and we will be on the road before you know it. So just one second and I'm gonna show you guys Epcot. We got the Food and Wine Festival. We have a little bit of Walt's idea with the whole experimental prototype community of tomorrow. So it's gonna be awesome. World Showcase, you guys are gonna love it. Let me grab my backpack and All right, we made it to Epcot, guys. Just like all my previous videos, before I go in depth with all the other parks, I'm pretty much just going to do an overview of Epcot today. I have plenty of time to do more in depth videos, especially since the Food and Wine Festival is here with us until I believe November. But we'll definitely be able to go more in depth while my parents visit. Spaceship Earth, five minute wait. We will have to do that before I leave today. But this is pretty much, the front of the park is pretty much just like Walt's initial idea of Epcot, which I, which I guess I will remind you is the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Kind of a bummer though, my sister did tell me that Club Cool did shut down. It was like three or four days ago, which I really wanted to show you guys because it's got different flavors of Coca-Cola, like not Coca-Cola products, but different sodas around the world. Like I know Italy, Japan, uh, of course Coca-Cola. It's got one from Brazil and then Peru and then numerous other ones. All right guys, there it is, the Fountain View. That is sadly where Club Cool was. And it is so weird to see this huge black wall right in front of us blocking the entrance to Club Cool. That has been around since I have been coming here. My first trip was back when I was five years old. I am just now a fresh 24, so old, and so long ago. But it is so sad to see that go. All right, so the two biggest rides that we have here at Epcot is gonna be Mission Space and Test Track. The third best one that is located here at Epcot is going to be that Spaceship Earth ride that we just passed. But I will take you guys on all three, or at least I will try to take you guys on all three. Mission Space is definitely the best. You guys won't be able to feel a G-Force through the camera, obviously. But it's a heck of an experience. You gotta go. They have two different versions of it. They have a green, and an orange the green is going to be more safer it's going to be a little bit less g's it's you know it's more so for the kid version i guess you could easily put it so of course i got to do the orange version like i just said i'm 24 and i'm old so we'll head over there real real quick guys and we will ride mission space oh yeah guys it's a 15 minute wait for the orange mars touchdown mission so I'm gonna take you guys on Mission Space. We're gonna go to Mars today. Didn't think you were gonna say that today, did you? Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of the flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. 
the X2 space shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Welcome trainees. We're going to start with team six. Then seven, eight, nine, ten will be last. Team six, follow me. Followed by seven, eight, nine, then ten. Proceed to flight Let stations. Uh, Row six and five. Row seven and four. to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballast Mariners. You are on the clock. Attention trainees, oh follow the markings on the floor to your extra training. Warning, instrument panel closing. If needed, space sickness bags are located on the instrument panel. Loading flight plan. Loading flight plan. Loading flight plan. Loading flight plan. Engineer, just a reminder, you will activate hypersleep and extend the wings. Team is ready to proceed at this time. Copy. Mission Control are proud to be a part of this historic liftoff. Go for it. So the group I just ended up riding with, that was their first time. And it's always good to see that they hopped right back in line to get on mission space. Well, we're gonna go check out test track real quick and see what the wait time is for that. If it's not too long, we'll jump on that and I'll show you guys test track. That's how Chevy tests their cars. 
All right, and Chevy also does have a showroom here at the test track. So let's take a look and see what they have on the showroom floor, guys. So it is time to go on Spaceship Earth, which a lot of people call the Epcot ball. It is this massive thing that we are approaching around the corner. There she is. Last time I checked, it was a five minute wait time. We will check it again. It's usually never a long wait for Spaceship Earth, which makes it a really nice ride. My dad loves this ride. So of course, when they come by in October, we will be on this thing at least twice. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine. Just one. Thank you. But it also brings with it the door that brings civilization. The first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. guys so that was spaceship earth they also have three other rides over in the front section of the park which is a finding nemo themed ride then you also have living with the land which is pretty much promoting to keep the earth green nothing wrong with that just pretty boring i've been on it multiple times but like the rule that i created or we created as my family you got to ride everything at least one time so if you guys stop by you guys have to ride it at least once you got to promote you got to help keep the earth green then for the third ride that they have over there is called Soren, which is pretty cool. It's like a simulation of flying. It's got popular spots around the world. But speaking around the world, we are now about to go into the World Showcase. Super exciting time, guys. It is during the Food and Wine Festival, which I'll definitely go more in depth with next time I come here because number one, a little low on dinero. And number two, I'll be able to go more in depth with you guys. And like I said earlier, this is an overview video. So I definitely wish that there was a way that you guys could vote because we could either go to the left starting in Mexico or we could go to the right starting in Canada. But I think I'm going to probably start clockwise and go over towards Mexico. And that's what we we will begin our journey in the World Showcase. So guys, just give you guys a quick overview real quick before we actually walk through the World Showcase. It goes Canada, it goes UK, Ireland, Scotland, kind of a mix. And then we have France. You can see the Eiffel Tower. 
then it slides right over to Morocco and then it slowly works its way through Japan and then you have America then it goes to Italy right next to Germany and then I can't catch my breath man I'm out of shape all right and then from Germany it goes kind of over into Africa there's a small little section for Africa kind of feel bad about that and then you have China Norway and then Mexico so I'm gonna head right that way and I don't know why I listed them the total opposite way that we're gonna walk but just keep in mind the list of countries and I will also list them out as we go guys all right so welcome to Mexico guys this is the Mexican pavilion we're gonna step inside this temple here and show you guys what they have inside to offer it is a small little market and then they also do have a three caballeros ride if I pronounce that right like I said earlier guys just a reminder I'm not gonna go super in depth but it also gives you guys something to look forward to which means I will go more in depth on future videos later videos but it is just a cool little marketplace and I always do forget that they do have a restaurant in here as well and that is inside the temple at the Mexican pavilion on to the next one all right guys so we made it to the next pavilion which is going to be norway they also do feature a ride here but mexico and norway are pretty much the only two it is going to be a frozen themed ride let me see i believe this is where you can find the schoolboy bread shout out to kj he's the one who put us onto that when we took them on our trip the last time we were here, but it's pretty much just going to be a bakery slash cafe. It's a pretty cool place to go. They got some good stuff. I'm definitely gonna show you guys the schoolboy bread when I come here. Definitely with the food and wine. It's not listed with the food and wine, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna get the schoolboy bread for sure. Not much in Norway, but still a pretty cool pavilion. You gotta check it out. And here we are at the China Pavilion, guys. And it's really cool. They definitely have some alcoholic beverages that you guys should try. I haven't tried any of them yet. I haven't been through here on my day off. I can't drink on the days that I do work, obviously. And I just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. But I'll show you guys a little bit of what we have to offer in here see it's just awesome how they put you guys in the element make you feel like you guys are actually in China right now for any of you guys that are fans of Chinese culture they have plenty of stuff for you guys to look at I don't mean to make it so quick on this video but like I said we're pretty much just gonna stick and move I don't mean to mention that on every country just wanted to mention that on the first couple that way you guys have a reminder that this is not gonna be it from what you guys see especially with me on the goofy scoop with the world showcase it is just the beginning guys all right guys and we are now in Africa we just left the Chinese pavilion I do feel bad because Africa doesn't have a whole lot of a pavilion. I guess it's more so just kind of like little shops here and there. They got a refreshment post, but I guess they are happy with it. I really wish that they had more, especially an attraction or something that they could have done. But I will take what I can get when it comes to the World Showcase. All right fast travels never traveled this fast in your life but on to Germany next I need your hands they are free of beer but
is one of my favorite pavilions actually guys they have huge pretzels and they have dark beer which i am a fan of ever since the age of 21 of course they actually have a really good buffet here my parents weren't a fan of it but i actually really liked it they put you in an atmosphere where it felt like you were in a german a german world you know similar as to the one in front of us right now and it was unlimited amounts of food like why would you not like that my parents are crazy sometimes but this is <laughs> hey how are you this is the germany pavilion right here guys beautiful architecture there's the buffet right over there with the oktoberfest you got snacks you got all that stuff you can get pretzels located right there and you can also get pretzels located over there as well and of course the sun is coming down faster and faster on us i wanted to get here a little bit earlier but just wasn't able to so i'm gonna try to speed it up just a little bit i'm gonna put a little pep in my step i guess you could say and i'm gonna make this happen before it gets too dark my camera that i'm using which is a gopro hero 7 black edition just in case you guys are curious for what I use in my vlogs that is what I use a GoPro Hero 7 black edition it doesn't do too well with night yet I don't know if they are working on it or they just can't with how small the camera is with the quality but this is what I could afford and it is the best that I could get and it is an action camera because I ski I did motocross back when I was at home so I actually needed this camera for other purposes but while I bore you guys with what I'm talking about, we have arrived at the Italy Pavilion, guys. And here we are with these massive, massive architect structures. They also do have really good pizza back here, guys. And they actually have one of my favorite fountains that I've seen anywhere since my 24 years of existence, which I am slowly approaching and I'll be able to show you guys. But as I talk to you guys in and out, just take a good look at the architecture, see what we can get familiar with in future videos. It looks like people are taking photo opportunities, so I won't get too close to the fountain, but I will see what I can get. There she is. I love that thing right there, guys. But we have made it towards the back of the Italy pavilion. You got pizzeria, ristorante. And then you also have the wine cellar, which I mean, of course, which is the best place to get wine, Italy and France. So, of course, they're going to have it, plenty of us or plenty of it for us here at Epcot, guys. Well, guys, we have reached our next destination, which is the Japan Pavilion. They actually have a little bit more stuff to go see inside, so we'll take a quick peek real quick in here obviously we see the massive pikachu in front of us throwing up the peace sign peace out pikachu but that is majority of what they have in here there's more towards the back but i'll go more in depth next time on to the next pavilion guys all right now it is on to the morocco pavilion guys like this for instance i mean look i mean besides the ceiling fan but it looks super realistic as well the lamp we have the lamp And on to the next pavilion, guys. All right, so welcome to the France Pavilion, guys. They have a really, really good alcoholic drink that my mom absolutely loves every time she comes. She at least has to get one or two before she goes back home to Texas. Don't remember what the name is, but I'll figure it out. But I think they decided 
UCF Hall. And the location right in front of us, guys, is where I love to go for quick service. There's also my sister's favorite location. It's probably, it, well, it's more of a location, more of her favorite location, I guess I should say, than mine. But this food never fails in here. And they also have a small gift shop as well. And on to the UK pavilion. All right, guys, so we have reached the UK pavilion. That is a fabulous place to get fish and chips right there. And I'm going to follow this girl wherever she's going with these kegs. There's some Beatles merchandise. Stones, Pink Floyd. Walk across real quick. Hey, Pooh Bear. Just your average gift shops in the UK. A little bit too crowded in there for me, but that is the Rose and Crown Pub. Beautiful woodwork in there. Beautiful pub, beautiful bar, whatever you want to call it. Just phenomenal. I've never had a drink there, but I'd like to. Maybe I will in the next video with you guys. We shall see. All right, guys. So as I approach back where we started with the beginning of the World Showcase, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. The sun is coming down fast. I want to make it back home. I want to rest up to get ready for work. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more content. And please give me feedback as well. So feel free to comment. But like I said, definitely going to see more of the World Showcase in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's the scoop on the Goofy Scoop.